Heat waves are more frequent now than ever before. Ice caps are melting and our sea levels are on the rise. What's more, floods and droughts are becoming more common. And the hurricanes and storms we've endured in recent years are likely to become stronger. Whether it's because of human activity or natural cycles, and the evidence does point to us, thermometer readings all around the world have risen by 1 degree Celsius. But why should we care about a 1 degree rise in the average global temperature? After all, the temperature fluctuates by many degrees every day no matter where you live. It turns out, a global warming of only 1 degree does much more than just melt ice caps and cause wildfires. We are facing the biggest environmental challenge our species has ever seen. And no matter what you are passionate about, something that you deeply care about will be affected by climate change, even your home. The environmental effects of climate change, like droughts, floods, and severe weather for instance, have increasingly put more people on the move. According to one report in 2015, 244 million people migrated internationally. That's a 40% increase from the year 2000. In the same year, over 19 million people were displaced within their own countries because of natural disasters. Between 2008 and 2015, an average of 26 million people have been displaced annually by climate or weather-related disasters. And that's not all. The scale of migration is expected to grow even further. According to a recent World Bank report, by 2050, as many as 140 million people worldwide will be displaced due to the effects of climate change. Those living in the low-lying, small island developing states of the Pacific region are among the most vulnerable to the effects of drought and rising sea levels. Regardless of whether these events cause short or long-term displacement of people, the likelihood is that more people will be on the move in the decades ahead. Our home is under threat like never before. We are the first generation to know we are destroying our globe, but we could be the last that can do anything about it. If we do not act now, the consequences will not only be very costly, but will become a serious threat to humankind. What will happen if global warming continues to rise at its current pace, and how will it shape the future of humanity? That is a topic of discussion for another episode.